let us discuss voltage or EMF. Actually, voltage or EMF produces a force or pressure that causes the free electrons in a body to move in a particular direction. The unit of EMF is volt. EMF is also called electric potential. Suppose a body is electrically charged. That means the body has either deficiency of electrons or excess of electrons. For charging the body, it requires an amount of work to be done. This work done is stored in the body in the form of potential energy. This charged body can do work by attracting or repelling other charges. The ability of a charged body to do work is called its potential or precisely electrical potential. If one joule net work required to be done to charge a body to one coulomb is denoted as one volt. The volt is the unit of electric potential of voltage. Again, when work done is 1 joule and charge moved is 1 C, the potential is also called 1 volt. If we say that a point has a potential of 50 volts, it means that 50 joules of work has been done in moving 1 C of charge to that point. In other words, we can say that every coulomb of charge at that point has an energy of 50 joules. The potential difference of two points indicates the difference of charge condition of these points. Suppose point X has a potential of 50 volts and point Y has a potential of 25 volts. When the points X and Y are joined together by a conducting wire, electrons will flow from point Y to point X. We say that current flows from point X towards point Y. The direction of current flow is taken from higher potential to lower potential, while the flow of electrons are actually in the opposite direction. The flow of current from higher potential to lower potential is similar to the flow of water from a higher level to a lower level. Hope you got a basic idea about electric potential or voltage. Thank you.